Tate. You guys are familiar with Dr. Tate. She's been on your show, I think. Yes, she has, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is a constitution lawyer who's been presenting evidence going up the chain of, of, uh, of the legal system to have the president's uh, credentials examined and to see if there is uh, a possible way for the legal system to deal with his ineligibility. Uh -huh. Right? Right, right. Now, there is a letter from, from Paige. She, she posted this to her website uh, three days ago. Mm -hmm. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Now, Dr. Tate, she had a meeting with, uh, with uh, John Roberts uh, the early part of the week. He's the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. That's correct. Uh, to decide whether or not the Supreme Court, the full conference of the Supreme Court, should hear the eligibility case for the president. Mm -hmm. This is stunning news, folks. And this just in here two days ago, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, John Roberts, he went ahead and scheduled a case for Attorney Tate's dealing with Barack Hussein Obama's use of forged IDs to be heard in conference before the Supreme Court. This case, titled Noonan Judge McLaren Tate's v. Bowen, provides a mountain of evidence of Barack Obama using a last name not legally his, forged selective service application, forged long-form and short-form birth certificate, and a Connecticut Social Security number which was never assigned to him, right. according to E-Verify. You've covered this, Carl, the I whole E-Verify thing. I You've have. had guests on. I've had the people, uh, I've had the investigators on that first uncovered it. I've had them right here on Freedom Friday. That's why, if you folks, you've got to listen to Freedom Friday because you're not going to hear this on Fox News. Heck, you're not going to hear this on Rush Limbaugh or Sean, Hann Sean Hannity or Glenn Beck. You're only going to hear it right here. Go ahead, Mike. That's right. And, you know, the, the E-Verify uh, scandal... People were running his Social Security number through E-Verify, which is what the employers use to determine whether someone is eligible to be do work in the country, right? Right. And uh, his, his Social Security number out of Connecticut, of all places, failed the test. He is not able to – employers in the United States are not able to hire him right. because his, his uh, Social Security number throws up fraud flags. Right. No, that's so right. there you go. And so all of this evidence will be presented to the full Supreme Court. Now, I have the date for this. I'll tell you how I got that in a second. This article does not give the date. Uh, and But uh, it will be after the inauguration. Uh -huh. And uh, the reason I'm saying it like that is because Dr. Tate goes on to say, she says, please keep in mind, Richard Nixon was reelected and sworn in, but later was forced to resign as a result of Watergate. Over 30 high-ranking officials of Nixon administration, including Attorney General of the United States and White House counsel, were indicted, convicted, and went to prison. Right. Obama forgery gate is a hundred times bigger than Watergate. Yes, guys. it is. Yes, More it is. corrupt, high-ranking officials, U.S. attorneys, AGs, and judges were complicit, committed high treason by allowing a citizen of Indonesia and possibly still a citizen of Kenya, yeah. Barack Hussein Obama, aka Barack Barry Sobaka a.k.a. Barack Barry Satoro, to usurp the United States presidency by use of forged IDs yeah. and a stolen Social Security and, number. And, Mike, let me interject. If, as a matter of fact, we can prove that, uh, well, and I think it has been proven, but if, is, if, as a matter of fact, it is upheld by a court, and <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath, but if it is, then every member of Congress is uh, in contempt of the Constitution as well because... First of all, they took an oath to protect it, and they have not, and General Paul Vallele has uh, outed them. Heck, I've outed our local congressman here uh, several times, telling you the emails he sent to me early on, stating that they knew, they, he, he suspected that something was screwy with Obama's uh, identity, yet he has refused to do anything about it. Plus... They just certified him, the Electoral College, without adhering to the Constitution, Amendment 20, Section 3, that says that they are to determine the qualifications of those that they certify. They refuse to right. do that. So it's, it's way more than just uh, attorney generals and staff of the president. It, 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 it's every member of Congress is culpable in this. This, this is a huge, huge scandal. And uh, now one of our, we got caught up in a, in a thing uh, last week where, where stuff was reported by other websites, and, and we looked into it. And, 
And then Dr. Tate got involved, and she said, look, none of this is true. So this time around, we went straight to the source. We had an operative. We have operatives all over the world, by the way. I know we do. We had an operative go in to uh, and, uh, uh, get a hold of Dr. Tate personally and say, look, explain this to us. Tell us what's going on exactly. So this was, um, this was Dr. Tate's uh, response personally right from her. This is what she said. She said, this is true. You can go on the website of the Supreme Court, go to docket, enter my name and case number, and you will see it. I really need people's help rising and demonstrating in front of the Supreme Court, in front of the White House. We need signs which say Obama is using forged IDs and a stolen Social Security number, Supreme Court to rule, February the 15th, folks. February the 15th is the day that the United States, the highest court in the land, will hear the evidence all of it, right. for the ineligibility of Barack Hussein Obama to be right. president of the United States. And she says people can be in front of the federal buildings in their states, in front of Capitol buildings, particularly during the inauguration. Okay. We need people contacting media demanding to cover it. Okay. This is a big story, a big story that nobody else is reporting. Right. People need to make the Limbaugh's and the Hannity's of the world aware of this, well, that the highest court in the land will be hearing evidence yeah, yeah. concerning the eligibility yeah. of the president. Mike, let me interject here. Now, now, thank you for saying it that way, because, folks, I want you to hear this. Now, this, this is going to sound tongue-in-cheek, but I'm dead serious about this. And, 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 I, and I know Mike is too. Mike, if I say anything that does not meet your thoughts, please just correct me because I'm not trying to speak for both of us, although I believe that I can. Uh, folks, this is why you need to listen to WEBY. This is why you need to listen to Freedom Friday. This is why you need to be involved in the P.P. Simmons uh, Ministry and Information Properties on the Internet. Because ask yourself a question. Why is it that a Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Glenn Beck, etc., are not involved in outing an illegal alien as President of the United States, single-handedly destroying this nation? Why are they not involved? I mean, why do they not just use their power, their their audience of millions and millions? Why are they not using their voice to to out this absolute travesty? Okay, now 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 follow me. I know for a fact, and you've heard Lieutenant Mike Zulo on this program, the only law enforcement agency that's investigated this thing officially with a bevy of investigators and, 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 and um, uh, forensics laboratories, etc. You heard him on this program say that they have affidavits from high-ranking media officials saying that they have been threatened by Obama operatives if they get involved in this. Okay? You've heard Lieutenant Zulo say that. Now, you say, well, Carl, how come you're getting away with it? Why are you saying it? <laughs> because, see, here's why Rush Limbaugh doesn't say anything. Because Rush Limbaugh's a brave man. He's a courageous man, okay? But he works for a conglomerate. He's syndicated. And big, high-ranking level people above him who control his salary and his money and his livelihood tell him, do not deal with this. Well, Carl, how can you deal with it? Because I don't take money for what I'm doing. And, and, and no one owns me, okay? So Mike and I can report the truth. We tell you what you're not going to hear on Fox News or Rush Limbaugh or any of those guys because they're controlled by pe people over them. Now, the only person that controls me on the radio is Mike Bates, the owner of the station. Mike agrees with most everything that I do on this, and Mike uh, it does not shy away from the truth. But, you know, if Mike ever tells me, hey, lay off of this or lay off of that, I will, of course. I'm going to be courteous to Mike. Mike's a good friend of mine. But other than that... As long as I speak factually and truthfully and back up what I say with evidence, I can say pretty much what I want to say. And so can Mike Shoesmith. So, folks, that's why you need to listen to us. And that's why you need – don't listen to us and say, well, you know, you're the only ones talking about it, so you're crazy. No. The reason we're the only ones talking about it is because we can and because we don't care what other people think about us. I was in law enforcement for almost 10 years. I know how criminal investigations work. I used to do them. I know how this unfolds. That's why Lieutenant Zulo and I have become good friends. And I'm telling you, the evidence is overwhelming that this guy's not even a U.S. citizen. Mike Shoesmith, have I said anything wrong? No, I mean, you, you really did a good job touching on the sub-scandal here. The big scandal here is the biggest, uh, 
the biggest conspiracy to hit these shores since since America rebelled against King George is the Obama eligibility issue. But right. the, the sub the sub problem here is the malpractice on the part of the media. Right. You know, even the so called conservative media right. is guilty of malpractice. Yes, here. they are. Yes, they are. Mike, let's take a quick time out. You and I have got so much more to talk about, and I want to give you most of the time because I hogged a bunch of it just a minute ago. But, folks, you're listening to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallus. Mike Shoesmith is our correspondent this afternoon. We're going to take a quick time out. When we come back, we're going to turn Mike loose because he's got a whole lot more to share with you.